Hello queens and welcome back to today's video. It is Queen of Queen She Me and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys an updated trimming video. So I'm going to be trimming my hair. It's about, I don't know, I think my hair is about 11, 12 inches now. I'm not quite sure. I really don't measure it um, because I just do not get so caught up on the actual length of my hair. I'm more so focused on the health of my hair. So before we go any further in today's video, please make sure that you are subscribed down below. Hello to all of my new and recent subscribers. Thank you guys so much for joining. I've just been so overwhelmed with joy and appreciation and gratitude as to how our community has been growing over here on YouTube. I have some exciting content coming for you guys as well in August that I feel that we all will truly benefit from because it's something that I do pretty much every single day to just help me get through those rough times. But again, that's not what this video is about. Today we are talking about trimming and again, I would just like to thank each and every one of you guys for just tuning in today so let's get into today's video all right so the last time that I actually trimmed my hair has been months ago I would probably say the last time I trimmed my hair is about probably between six to eight months ago that's a pretty long time and I know some people will get their hair trimmed or dusted or an actual for real like a trim trim probably um in um every quarter of the year or they may just go once a year to actually just get a really healthy trim from their beautician or you can just actually do it yourself like I'm going to do here with you guys today. Um, I don't necessarily trim my hair again all the time. For me personally, I trim my hair as needed. So when I see that my ends are starting to look a little funky, especially during my um, twist outs, if I take down my hair and my results at the ends do not look as, you know, fly as they should be they kind of look crazy like then i know that it's time for a trim um what i love about trimming your about trimming your hair and even trimming my own hair honestly is the fact that it allows your hair to actually to continue to grow because the ends of our hair are the oldest parts of our hair so it's very important that you do incorporate trimming into your natural hair regimen again this isn't something that you should do weekly bi-weekly or even monthly again just as an as-needed basis um again you can go to your beautician or you can do like i'm going to do today and just use my hair shears here it is very important to use hair scissors and not regular scissors just because of the way that they are designed to actually cut hair. Scissors are simply just used to just cut whatever the hell you need, whereas hair scissors specifically are geared towards cutting your hair. So it just makes sure that it's not creating any further damage, doesn't give you like a weird cut, and then makes sure that it only and truly gives you like a nice, clean, professional cut, and it won't leave you like any kind of fray, split ends, or just looking crazy, because you don't want your hair to look like that. No, that's not what we're going for. Okay. Another reason why I like trimming is because, um, too, along with it also promoting the health of your hair, just simply just trimming your hair, too, it just gives your hair like a refresh. It just makes it look so fresh and so new, and it just really does help with just making your style just really pop as well. Because, again, like I stated previously, if your ends are looking crazy, then your style is not going to be as popping as you would like it to. So what I'm ready, getting ready to do now, I'm just going to simply pull my hair back so that way I can just start closer towards the back bottom section here. So this is where we're gonna start with trimming my hair today. Okay, so this is one of my twists. My hair has been in twists now for about two days intentionally because I actually like to trim my hair in twists. A lot of natural leases that you see, especially on YouTube and even in the natural hair community, they particularly like to blow out their hair and then trim their hair that way. See me, I'm not into that because I don't necessarily have a particular shape that I'm going for for my natural hair. So what I just make sure I do when I go in with my twists when I'm actually setting in styling my hair is that each section of hair pretty much talking about the two separate strands as you guys see me doing here have the same equal amount of hair so that way my hair won't have like a weird cut in the back it won't be uneven so what we're looking for here is you see how we have these ugly scraggly ends like that is so aggravating to me and I have been noticing it for weeks now and so now it's simply time to trim and I actually trim a little bit more simply because I don't want my damaged hair to continue to travel up the remaining you know shaft of my hair I want the rest of my hair to remain healthy so what you're looking for here is simply the hair where it looks you know kind of thinned out you know you're just still twisting and twisting and twisting and see for me I don't like that and that just makes my twist outs kind of look weird so 
taking your hair shears here you guys and these are from the brand Annie and these are stainless steel I got these pretty much I think from Sally's so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna see actually where the hair is looking funky and as you guys can see I'm really gonna cut it here and that may be a little bit more than used for some people but for me that is fine I'm not really into like a particular shape or like a particular style I am just here for healthy hair so that's good that's pretty much almost like a half inch that I cut off and that's pretty much fine right there I'll just add some more product onto it and then I'll simply retwist the end again and then if I think it needs a little bit more trimming then I will but the goal here is to really just simply dust your hair so as you guys can see here that's part of it and that's pretty not that's really not bad at all but um i just like to make sure that it's not traveling up my hair sh strands so as y'all can see this one kind of just came unraveled lightly and then at the end i'm going to show you guys how my hair looks after freshly trimming my hair because if you've been watching my previous videos then you guys have pretty much already seen you guys have pretty much already seen what my hair has been looking like in previous videos. So this one is not that bad either. I'm just actually just going to cut it to about right here. And again, I'm just going to take my hair shears from Annie. And I'm just going to snip that off. It just looks so weird. I don't like that. It just, ugh. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, so see how my ends look a lot nicer? Well, of course, once I put something on the ends, it'll look a lot better but um it just yeah it's just a lot better that's a lot better and I prefer to, again to have healthy hair okay so here's this one Okay, queen. So another thing I meant to mention at the beginning of the video, especially if you're transitioning like how I did when I first went natural, you're going to start noticing your line of demarcation, meaning you can see where your natural hair, you know, ends and where your relaxed ends, you know, have that separation. You're going to see that your hair is a lot kinkier, closer from the root towards the ends of your hair where you still have a relaxed and then where your natural hair technically ends and then towards the ends where your relaxed hair is. And so this is like pretty much like an example of line of demarcation like right here if you guys can see that right there you see how that's all thin and frailed out and see how this is all healthy looking that's what you need to cut off so that's pretty much like your line of demarcation too for when you're trimming your hair if it's looking like this like extra dry crazy split and even if you see single strand knots especially at the ends cut that shit off and let it go it's just hair y'all <laughs> literally cut that shit off let it go and you can let your fro grow see again like right here see how that's all like frilled and frizzy and that's just not even because i've worn my hair and twist for a couple of days that's just the hair itself it's not healthy it's not good it needs to go it needs to go your hair can't grow if you're holding on to dead old hair so once you start focusing on the health of your hair and your healthy hair care regimen for your particular hair journey you will start to, to begin to see a tremendous difference so that's why it's always important to twist your hair all the way down to the ends and that's all i'm going to dust off of that one because this one isn't bad it's just you know natural because it's unraveling right there but that particular part at the end that really needed to go so this is this whole section right here and as y'all can see the ends look a lot better and of course if I decide to go ahead and put some more product on here it will look even better but I'm taking my hair down today so I'm not really 
worried worried necessarily about that because I don't want to product overload my hair but yeah y'all put your hair in twists it's so much easier I feel if you're just really just trying to dust and trim your hair okay queen so this is my hair after trimming it I can tell a tremendous difference down here at the bottom especially it doesn't look all extra frizzy like how it usually does especially near the ends because my hair is a little bit longer near the back of my head so I'm gonna zoom you guys in okay so now y'all can really see like what it is I'm talking about it looks a lot neater don't mind the slight frizz that I have it comes along with the twist out but you can tell just two of my ends it just looks a lot more uniform now I wasn't again going for like any kind of particular cut for like a shape or anything like that I just simply really and truly just want to trim my natural hair because it really needed to be trimmed it had been about a good almost eight months since I actually trimmed my hair and so again what I'll do is I'll just simply put my hair into some twists and really and truly if you can do them a little bit smaller than what I had in that will be even better because then you'll be able to really make sure that you're trimming only what you really and truly need to trim but me I really honestly don't care I just want healthy hair so I just trim it off and I just let it ride pretty much this is what I um, trimmed off the ends of my hair like lightly dusted I should say and that's it so you should really and truly only be trimming off a little bit you shouldn't be doing like necessarily like a big chop unless you just really and truly want to do like a for real for real trim but as you can see you're gonna see that I do have some of my healthy hair in here but like I say I always go a little bit further up past where I see that I need to trim my hair just to make sure that I don't have any remaining damage being left behind to continue to you know continue just to damage my hair we don't want that so again just trim your hair ladies it's just hair it is simply just hair and when you realize that you will stop being so focused on the length of your hair and then you'll be able to really focus on the health of your hair and not just the health of your hair but also the health of yourself because when you start taking better care of yourself your hair will start flourishing then you won't even be bothered with the length because child it's just natural naturally flourishing so you won't have any problems Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Again, this was just to show you guys how I trim my hair and to show you the results after trimming my hair. And again, I can tell the difference. If you go back and look back actually at the last vlog from Essence Fest day four, you will see how my ends were looking in that video compared to this video. And I like the way that my ends are looking in this video. They don't look all extra frayed. Like, what is that? <laughs> like it doesn't look all extra frayed so definitely go check out my essence fist weekend vlogs y'all was there for four days and three nights and i tried to get as much as i could on camera for you guys unfortunately some of it is also on my instagram account as well at queen she me just make sure to just check out the essence fist highlight on my page and you'll definitely see what you didn't see in the vlogs okay so thank you so much for hanging out with me today queens and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah!